Hey, this is Mark with Drumline. I'm with Mike Dupke with the microphone at the Pearl booth at NAM 2015. What's up, Hoss? You know what? What? I've never really interviewed you. Well, this is the first time for everything. I mean, I've known you for many years, and we've had many That's conversations, right. and we've done, like, Where's Kenny or some silly thing. <laughs> Wait, Where's Kenny? Or yeah. you did Gandalf impersonations. Uh, 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 yeah. But you don't yeah. have to do that. Today's a serious one. Okay. I met you at IU. That's right. So uh, do, just, let's just do a chronology real quick. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Michigan. Grew up in Michigan. Okay. School in Indiana. Okay. Lived in Nashville for, like, a little bit. Moved out to L.A., hair of the dog. Eric Sardinas. Yes. Wow. Seen that a few times. Yes. And I then Wasp in 2006. Uh, touring, uh, uh, roadie, groupie. I was a, yeah. kind of a fanboy. Fanboy. Yeah. Fan, and I'm still a fanboy. That That's Eric. right. Yeah. Okay. And then what happened after Eric? I'm sorry. And then and then after Eric was Wasp in 2006. So. Jugular. Jugular. Jugular was awesome. I wish we would have done like shows. You know, like more oh, okay. like actual shows. It didn't. All right didn't really get to get out of Southern California, but love that band too. I met that guy, I went to see Ryan Brown play at the uh, Viper or something, and you were there, mm -hmm. and then the Jugular guy was there, and you mentioned that, and said that you had left Eric, and, I, and you wanted, uh, and it's like right after that, pretty soon, you got the Wasp gig. That's right. So how did that come about? That, <laughs> I was joking <laughs> with a friend of mine about that, because it was actually just through a cover gig. I was, and just looking for, you know, different gigs and jams to do, I got, uh, hook up with some friends and we're just doing Beatles and Zeppelin covers in Southern, uh, where was it, in Redondo Beach and uh, on Saturday afternoon. And then all of a sudden, uh, Mark Zavon, the guitar player who was in that band, who knows Mike Duda and a couple of the other guys, when they were looking for a drummer, he gave them my name and that's I got okay. to audition, I got the gig. So you're still with Duda? Yes. And uh, he's yeah. a bass player in Wasp? He's a bass player. He was also one of the best men at my recent wedding. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know so, you recently yeah. got married. That's right. To the wonderful Jen. To the wonderful Jen. Who's yeah. uh, your lovely wife. Who's my lovely your wife. girlfriend for many years. Yeah, but finally, actually, I get to say wife. It's so yeah, refre there, refreshing to say wife it? instead of fiancé. I don't have the question when are you going to get married because you That's already right. got married. That's right. You already did. All right. And now we got a little one on the way. Okay. Oh, and you have another one. And you have another uh, stepdaughter. I, yes. Okay. She had a daughter from uh, who is ten, but this will be our first child and will be my first child. And so. you guys have a dog and horses and a chicken. A dog and, a goat. and chicken and a goat, Stupid. cockroach, snake, yeah. and uh, three-toed so sloth. Really? No, but no, not a three but, sloth. I, but I would love to have a three. That's sloth. a great band name. Three-toed sloth. Yeah. Yes. I know a lot about you, but I, I don't really know your favorite food. I don't know. You can skip food. over that favorite food. Okay. Sushi. Sushi and. Pizza. I know. Okay. okay. Sushi pizza. Yeah. You know that's another good band name. Sushi pizza. Yeah. Check this out. I know something that is more of an influence on you than sushi pizza. Okay. And we're standing in front of it. There's two things we're standing in front of. What are they, Mike? The hottest band is. in the world. This, I think, is er, is actually Eric Singer's kit oh, is it? for I the next upcoming uh, oh, Kiss tour. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. And it's. Uh, Don't touch the drums, but we got to touch it for luck. Yeah. We touch it for luck. Yeah. The crystal beat, which I would love to have a set of. Uh, yeah, this is um, Kiss. This is a Kiss set, and I think actually these drum heads were done uh, by Casey Grio, the drummer of Camelot. Oh, okay. He's got a drum head company uh, that makes the front front heads basically. Right. He's done a bunch, like uh, Justin Timberlake, uh, among others, and uh, a whole bunch. But yeah, I believe they did these too. And he's an awesome guy and a killer drummer too. Okay. Um, so anyway, I know you love the band. What love Kiss? Yeah. Uh, I'm a I'm a bit of a kissaholic, yeah. Do you want to explain a little bit of that to the story? I, I liked them when I was in kindergarten. Right. I was the only kid in my kindergarten class with a Kiss t-shirt on. Kistergarten. Kistergarten. That's another good band name. <laughs> Kiss tribute, Kistergarten. Where they all come out dressed as school. You got to play Kiss in Soundgarden. You could do an all-female Kiss tribute band and call it Torpedo Girl, because I don't think that's been done before. Right. And that's an awesome Kiss song that, like, no one knows. You know what the Parisian Kiss band's called? No, French. But anyway, enough of that. I'll probably edit that out. That, that really hit the, <laughs> that hit a sour chord. Yeah, it was good. No, yeah, I like it. It was yeah. good? Yeah. yeah. It was painful. Okay, good. so, Mike Duffy. Okay. Um, you are a fit man. You're always hiking in, uh, you know, oh, come uh, on now. Come on, I'm just serious. You're okay. always hiking, you're in good shape. You've been in Thanks. Good shape I for try. 20 years. Uh, but is it the drumming? Is it, do you do other things? You know what? It's funny. Actually, I was, I was talking with another friend of, about that too. It's like because I've been trying to, you know, you figure out, try and figure out more economic ways of playing in terms of like, you know, using, getting more volume with less energy. Oh, 
And so lately when I've been doing that, I've been using less energy. So like even like playing really heavy isn't as much of a workout as it used to be. You know, I used to throw my toes into like every single backbeat. Oh, I see. But now trying to go in, oh, relax, molar technique, all of that stuff. And now I get done, you know, sometimes with a set and go, all right, now I'm ready to I know. go do some laps. And, yeah, I know. worked out a bit uh, last month and I walked around the end the first day and we did the red carpet at Bonzo Bad. And oh, six nice. hours standing there. And after that, I felt great. Yeah. And I'm like, the old me, last month, I would have passed out. Right, right. So yeah. uh, we're getting there. Yeah. I guess we follow <laughs> Aaron Ox lead and stay in shape and fit. That's right. The monster fit. Yeah. He's, he's like, I don't know, Mr. Energy. But it did you get some of your energy from that? I oh, learned it from Kenny along the way? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Kenny is Kenny's just the man. I mean, like, there's nothing... There's nothing he really can't do. That's what is disgusting about Kenny. Yeah, he's it's like disgusting. He's he's sick. He's worth disgusting, Horrible. but he's disgusting. A horribly fantastic, amazing player. I he's I call him bonfire guys, like him and you know even like Steve Gadd or um, uh, Gene Hoagland or guys like that. It's like I just want to throw my drums on the fire and go. It's over. I, is it bonfire done. guys because of the vanity or because of that movie? Bonfire is a vanity. Yeah. Not one of Tom Hanks' better uh, better. Yeah, pictures, maybe not. Turner in. Tom Hanks? I didn't tell you what. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, why do you like Tom Hanks is all so much? You know, I think Tom Hanks plays drums. That thing you do. He oh, did. Tom well, yeah, in, in That Thing You Do. But also, I remember, okay, going way back. Here's This is my stupid trivia stuff Let's I got going on. When he hosted Saturday Night Live in 1999 or something, yeah. they did a skit called Giant Businessman. And it was Phil. Uh, Phil Hartman was Giant Businessman, oh, and Tom Hanks was the drummer of some band in a garage that oh. was like pissing them all up. Oh, okay. And he he can play. Oh, okay. You can tell it's like he could. He knew what he was doing behind. Yeah. You know? So does Dana Carvey. Dana Carvey's like a killer drummer. You know what's a great movie now? Because of that. Is what uh, uh, Whiplash? Forrest Drum. Because Forrest of Tom Hanks played the drum. Whiplash, do you know anything about that? Was your, are you experienced anything I've, like I've, Whiplash? I've not seen the movie yet. I want to check it out. So it's, did you, know, you it's get yelled best at by anybody? Uh, not a little. Say not really, were though. Intense, but maybe not. At, at Indiana, yeah, a couple of the band directors, you know, would kind of like whip did, in did shape. Anybody, did anybody ever make you do push-ups? Kenny did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. One of the first lessons with Kenny, actually, he goes, he goes, see how many push-ups you can do, and I'll do twice as many. And I probably did, like, Four or something, and then you know, and then he's he, he just like goes, yeah. I mean, he's he's built like a tree. It's, did a little it's bit more. really, it's really, man's amazing. Yeah, wonder of nature. Yeah. Anyway, enough about that. But talking about IU, and uh, one of your other brothers is trying to find us, Ryan Brown, yep. and we did a story on you guys, and there's a lot of you guys that came out of that same era that are very, very, very good drummers. That's right. So talk about your brothers. It's really cool to see the people come out of Indiana who like have gone on and like you know, made livings you know as uh, as professional drummers um tom deal is yeah. doing stuff up in new york and boston you met him uh kevin leahy's yeah, played with uh, with uh, the bodines and he was with sean mullins for a little while ryan brown zappa, zappa plays zappa right. what else do you and need to know there uh pete wilhoyt also oh, who got playing. for his fiction playing with right. for those who don't know is fiction the band, a great band with uh sting's son uh, uh, Joe Sumner. yeah I saw them over for yeah. the police. They're very good. Yeah. And their records, awesome are, their records are really good. Yeah. So. But yeah, it's like Kenny was like sending his little minion forth around to take over the world. So. I know. It's oh. kind of an evil thing. He's got the same haircut as that guy <laughs> in that movie. <laughs> yeah. In a scene yeah. Girl. Yeah. The complete shave job. Yeah. Well, we did the yeah. chronology. Okay. I don't know uh, what else I was going to say. What else was I going to say? I don't know. If you think well, of something else, thoughts? go ahead. Do you have any questions for me? Um, yeah, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, awesome sauce. No, it's gonna be a great year. Like I okay. said, freshly married. Oh. Baby on the way. First year. And, First year. and what's happening with the and music? Coming up, uh, Wasp will be touring this summer right. and another big Euro tour this fall. Okay. New album no, out. You said you will be touring. Will be touring. And then you said Euro tour. Oh, Euro. Like two yeah. categories. The Euro. Tour. So, what does the first category fit into? We America? do most of Europe anyway. It's yeah. yeah it's it, that's pretty much all Europe. Yeah. All America Europe. probably not. Not so much happen. in America. Not so much. You in guys America. are just huge in Europe. We are. Is that because you like to travel to Europe? I n not necessarily. I like playing over there just because the audiences are just killer. Here's <laughs> here's every European concert goer. Yeah. And here's every American concert goer. Oh, 
Oh my god. Like I'm so gonna enjoy this later. It's you know I know, that's funny. It's like over there and that's not every American fan, but right. you know, it's like there's so much if you want to see the band on video, go to YouTube later and watch them live. Watch them it's later. live yeah. music. Live music. Most okay. of the European audiences have not forgotten what it means to like to be at a show and to participate. Now we covered everything I knew about you. Your favorite food, favorite color, yeah. band name. <laughs> we did everything from A okay. to B from your birth. We covered everything, but I'm going to bring in a guy who's going to come up with something. Okay. Okay, because he knows everything about you, plus your, uh, you know, I don't know, something weird about it's you. It's your father. No. It, oh, no, no. Whatever that game show, who is it? Whose line is Whose it? Whose line anyway? is it? Uh, yeah. Anyway, his name is Ed Niger, and he's a Canadian editor for Drumline. Okay. He's an awesome sauce, and he uh, he wants to interview you. I was just I was just filling in. So Ed's going to come over here now. I'm going to hand off the mic to Mike. I mean, to Ed. Mike, to Ed. Uh, Ed, come in. Ed. Okay, wait, okay, I'm gonna block you. Wanna see that? Okay, now, you know that thing in Range World where they wanted a better actor? They brought Charlton Heston in? Okay, that's exactly what's happening. Okay, here we go. 